Hello everybody, today we're going to be setting up an Ubuntu virtual machine on VMware. This is a complete beginner lab tutorial. So first things first, we're going to go to Google and type in Ubuntu download. And from here, we can go to the Ubuntu website. Go and not the LTS because this is a light support bundle, but we can just do the regular, the Ubuntu 20.10. So hit download on this. says our connection is not private. We can go ahead and proceed to it as it is Ubuntu's own website. So next thing we're going to do is go to VMware Workstation Download. And it's actually, we're actually looking for the Workstation Player. So download VMware Workstation Player. Go to Downloads here, and we'll install it for Windows or Linux if you're using Linux. So I'll hit Download. I already have them both downloaded, so we're going to go ahead and run the VMware player. We'll go through the installation wizard. So here it's saying that Hyper-V is not compatible on this version of Windows while VMware is also on it. So we have to make sure that Hyper-V is disabled by going under Programs and Features. So go under Related Settings, Programs and Features. We'll go Turn Windows Features on or off. And we're going to disable Hyper-V. and we'll need to restart the computer. So it's going to go finish setting up the device and go continue. And we can do all this setup later. And essentially, if you didn't already have Hyper-V enabled, then you didn't have to go through that part. So that's only if you've already messed around with Hyper-V or had it enabled. and. Before we get started, um, so now we can get back into the installation of VMware. Okay, so now it's showing us to remove it, but we've already removed it, so let's hit next. And let's go ahead and add the enhanced keyboard driver. It'll make life a little bit easier when we're using VMware. We can hit finish. And we got to restart our computer because we upgraded that enhanced keyboard setting. So let's go ahead and restart it now. So let's go ahead and open up VMware Player. And we're going to be using the non-commercial use. So we'll go ahead and continue. And we can make this a bit different. This is advertising for the Workstation Pro, but we're not going to be using that because all we're doing is setting up our Ubuntu virtual machine. So we'll go to Create New Virtual Machine, and we're going to use an installer disk image file, which is also an ISO. So we'll go to Browse, and I'm going to go under my Downloads, where I put the Ubuntu that we downloaded earlier. So let's go. So let's go ahead and hit next here. For the full name, let's do Super Linux Bros. And the username is going to be Super Bro. And the password is going to be Mario. The virtual machine name, we'll just name it Super Ubuntu 64. And for the maximum disk size, we'll just leave it at 20 gigabytes. And we can leave it as a default there. 
and we'll go ahead and click finish. It's asking to download a software update and we can go ahead and install it, that's fine. This is going to install VMware Tools, which is something that just makes everything go a little bit smoother and faster when you're running virtual machines with VMware. While our virtual machine is installing, let's go ahead and review some of the basic Linux commands. This is kind of a little cheat sheet that you can find on Google. You just type it in. And these are a lot of the things that we need to know if we're going to be doing anything even basic with Linux. And anybody who's ever used Linux will probably already know all of these commands. So this is extreme review for most of you. And a lot of you who are brand new, this is the best place to be. And this is where you should be starting. And as you can see, there's a little index saying these are all commands that have to do with files and navigating through the operating system. Here are all the commands that have to do with networking. And for a lot of you people who are familiar with Linux, you can see that there's a lot that is missing. You know, they don't have the trace route command in here. There's no netstat and they have dig, but um, there's still a lot of missing commands in here. So as you know, this is a very, very basic sheet. You know, the processes only has a few commands, and then there shows some grep commands for searching file patterns, some permissions with chown, some chmod and compression to make it tar files or, you know, zip files or whatever you need to do. And then, you know, system information commands. And really that's, um, we can get into that too once we're in actually in the VM. So let's go ahead and see where it is right now. It's showing us Harambe in his natural habitat. You know, Linux never forgot about him, so they're still promoting him. And it shows there's about two and a half minutes remaining. We'll see about that, but I'll see you in the future. All right, so as you see, our installation was successful. We got a whole bunch of things that said failed. So Wow, okay, my mouse is going crazy. And I don't know what's going on with my mouse, but password was Mario. And my mouse is freaking out. And we're going to just restart this virtual machine because, whoa, okay, preparing to copy files. Maybe this will help my mouse calm down a little bit. Usually you get mouse problems like that when a virtual machine does not have VMware tools installed. So we'll make sure that that's updated as soon as this prepares to copy log files to the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and... So I've got VMware tools installed and everything is looking pretty good. And for some reason, my mouse is still glitching out when I bring it into the Ubuntu VM. And I think this is because I'm RDPing into the computer that is hosting this VMware client with the VM on it. And it might have something to do with the graphics display driver for RDP connections. So let me go. If you're having the same problem, follow along. If you're not having this problem, then you can just stop it right there. And congratulations, you set up your Ubuntu VM. But for those of you who are having this problem, Come along with the trip with me and we're just going to go into the virtual machine and we'll do run gpedit.msc and we're going to go under the local computer policy, computer configuration, the administrative template. Let's bring this out. We'll go under Windows Components remote desktop settings wherever it is da, 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 da. and then we'll go to remote desktop session host we'll go under remote session environment and under this value right here that says use wddm graphics display driver for remote desktop connections we're gonna go ahead and edit that and hit disabled so hit apply and let's go back into the VM to see if it is fixed, which it's not. So, 
let's try to reboot this machine. And my mouse is still crazy. So, I apologize. I can't figure out why my mouse is doing this. And if you happen to know in the description below, I would be more than happy for you to contribute to this and let me know why my mouse is being absolutely crazy. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping I was at least able to help you set up VMware with Ubuntu and hopefully that your mouse isn't doing the same thing as my mouse. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on a different video.